Hello, welcome to Talk Audio TV. My name's Adam Rayner. I've sat next to Mr. Chris Bennett of Cell Society. All right, Chris. Hi, right, Adam. How you doing? I'm very well. I, I guess, in case you're wondering, we're, we're looking at anything called dab motion. <laughs> <laughs> now, the thing is, um, in the UK, we've got a, uh, a little fat black puppet called D Love, who calls everybody Sweet Cheeks, who is my soul brother from another mother. And one day I shall interview him because he's really telling the world about digital radio. Um, or digital audio broadcasting. Um, although we're now just to call it digital radio, which is slightly unfortunate because your whole thing is called DAB Motion. Tell us about DAB Motion, Chris. Okay, Adam. Well, this is a product that uh, we've uh, tested extensively for the last 10 months um, and designed and developed here in the UK. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we've launched it under the brand DAB Motion. This is our fully transportable um, plug and play digital radio um, upgrade to any car. So th this will work with any aftermarket or OE factory radio in any vehicle, providing it has an RDF function. That's the key thing. So if you've got to have an RDS display, yeah. which most one radios have, mm -hmm. then this will work. The stuff that's coming up saying BBC Radio 1 or Capital Radio. Absolutely. Uh -huh. Now, the key design goals for us with this product, Adam, was to make this as simple but as effective as possible. What we wanted was spectacular sound quality to get all the benefits of digital radio. Cool. That wasn't to be compromised, but it needed to be a simple, easy fit solution. And, and this product this, by really the way, just does that. This is just this is the actual thing. I'm going to show this to the camera here. This is the actual thing that you do get to see. So, and that's the handheld remote control. Um, that, that again, we worked very closely with the design of is to come up with something that was easy. You had buttons that you could go to. You can see on the outside there's four separate presets. It means you can load in your four favorite radio channels on there. Um, most people have their four favorites, um, but if you wanted to add in another further eight channels, so 12 in total, there's a mode button there and you can go to a different channel to add in more presets. Plus the added benefit is that on this box here, mm -hmm. um, there is also an auxiliary input. So oh, your wow. fourth channel is it providing you've got a three and a half mil connector, we you all can do run that. an MP3 device for it as well. MP3 device, your iPhone, anything, anything with a headphone output. Very cool. And, uh, and this is where the magic really happens, Adam. Yeah. Um, this box can be mounted anywhere in the vehicle. Mm -hmm. In most cases, you probably see it mounted in under the dashboard somewhere. But in my car, I've got a, um, an Audi A6 Estate that is actually mounted in the boot because right. we're doing a lot of testing with it. Just was easy access and it works extremely well even from there. The way to look at this box is that this box transmits the digital radio signal to your FM radio. Now, I do want to pick up on a couple of things. This does this via FM modulation, but yes. it does it wirelessly. There are, there are some other options where you have wired options. Mm -hmm. We tested that, even though it's wired or hardwired in, yes. it's still FM modulated. Yes. But we found that from experience is that sometimes when you're interfering with some, some modern day vehicle antennas, um, actually, that can compromise the reception. Oh, really? So, so we it, found that overall, correct, hiss and interference with the existing radio, uh, we decided that the wireless option not only was a lot simpler, but was actually more effective in the really? way it worked. And one of the main reasons for that is there is a patented auto-tune technology built into DAB Motion. And what's really, really Andrew, clever is, is that it utilizes some of the existing technology that's out there. Yeah. For example, if you were listening to Radio 1 and traveling between counties, yeah, yeah. I think we all know that sometimes it will pick up the stronger signal as yeah. it goes between changes, counties and it changes. The well, signal. the way to look at this little box is this actually has become a radio station. Mm -hmm. This is transmitting to your head unit and it's always looking for the strongest or the cleanest FM signal for it to transmit onto. But when you say looking for the cleanest, the strongest, but looking for the, the, the wide open spaces, it's basically like, yeah. Whether it's not without enough, other radio stations, not other radios cross bleeding mm. into it. Gotcha. And that's really key for someone like me. I like to listen to a lot of talk sport. Yes. Um, and when I'm listening to that, you know, there's a lot of quiet moments. You don't want to start hearing another radio station come in. And okay. This product is spectacular. Uh, basically identifying that and ensuring that it's always tuned to the to the darkest space yes. or the cleanest space possible through your head. Because while you're car. going with FM modulation wirelessly into your car, it is yep. hearing it as a radio station. So if there was another radio station in there, I'm terrible. I listen to my local city's radio station, which is I'm terrible. I love it, Capital Radio, sure. and would love to check it out in a nation nationwide on uh, nationwide with a DAB device. Um, well, okay, so there's there's the technology. Now um, the the fun bit is. Um, I'm going to insist on this geezer doing a bit with Jeremy Clarkson because it's 
filthy weather out there. He's been a bit nervous about this since last night, but we're going to have a Before we draw. do, I'm going to interrupt you. Oh, hang on, the aerial, the antenna. There's also an antenna. antenna, which is really important. Comes in the box. Comes in the box. We have a very discreet glass screen mount antenna uh -huh. that I'll hold up here for okay. you. This mounts onto the screen. Uh, this here is the grounding thing. If you look at the edge of most windscreens, they've got those little dots on it. That's what it earths to. Um, and that little wire there coming out is basically the antenna for digital radio. Right, so, that... so you mount that up on the screen, that's included in the box, uh, and away you go. Now in certain cases, if the glass option isn't desirable, there are other ways of doing it through things like a, a, a shark fin or a roof mount, digital radio antenna. Oh, this one looks like a BMW. <laughs> um, Make the status, status statement. A, a shark fin on the car. As shown here, mm -hmm. which is just a standard whip aerial, like you would see some of some Volkswagen Golf, that kind of thing. This is because Celsius, you guys actually import and distribute the digital radio aerials as well. So these are other options, including a and mag mount. Isn't if it? you wanted a true plug and play option, yes. uh, you could use a mag mount with this and you could transfer it between cars because this is a car lighter as well. Cool. So you could literally take it between one car. Yes. It's quite as are some people who've got a motorhome. Yeah, you know, absolutely. You know, that gives it during the week. Uh, fire cars, all those kind of things as well. Yes, those crashing noises in the background, by the way, are proof that we're at hub of operations, and that's the warehouse warehousing in the background. So, thank God, because without them actually sending stuff out, <laughs> we wouldn't have videos here to make. But Dad, motion. Um, as I said, we're going to go out for a drive now, um, and uh, so stick around, and we'll be right. Okay, well, as promised, we're uh, back in the car now, or rather got in the car to check out Dab Motion. And uh, Chris is quite pleased because after a bit of messing about, we found a nice crackly FM station in the shape of Radio 4, which, if you turn it up a tiny bit for us, you'll hear us so suffering. Now, if we change that to digital radio. Not to sell your home to pay for care. Yeah, we're going to really go down to digital radio. Care. It's really not time to sell your home crystal to pay clear. care while you're still alive, but it will still eventually be sold. Okay, a couple of things I'm going to show you uh, is that we mentioned the presets right the outside. We're currently listening to preset three where radio four is on. Uh, if I press preset one on here, changes straight over to radio one. Thank you. Nice. Preset two, I've got loaded in here. Radio two. And the one I listen to a lot. Is talk sport, which is in preset four. Press and hold. Straight in, it's that easy. Wow. So nice thing with the remote is I've been able to do all of that without taking my eyes off the road. Uh, I'm now going to, without taking my eyes off the road, load a preset. Uh, if I go back to position three. My radio four. And Logic would say that up from Radio 4 is probably one of the next channels. So I'm just going to turn the rotary wheel on here. Turn it again. Okay, go to Radio 3. I like this, so I'm yeah, going to so load fair. it. Press and hold on the button. P3 is saved. It's that simple. Brilliant. And we're off on our way around the roundabout, Chris. <laughs> and if I want to go to a previous channel that I was listening to, if I press the previous button, again, I know the position on that. They come straight back onto Radio 4. Again, not having to take miles off the road at all. Um, very safe and easy to use. Simple function and operation. It gives you all the great benefits of digital radio. Crystal clear reception. Infinite amount of choice. Um, all running through the standard Audi system. So we've upgraded this Audi, as you can any car, with a factory or aftermarket system. Uh, upgraded to the spectacular performance you get from digital radio. That's so, what Dad Motion's all about. There we go, Dad Motion, DAB in any car. Digital radio and the road ahead. Adam Rayner and Chris Bennett signing out for Talk Audio TV.